So when we formed the Consortium for IT Software Quality, one of our earliest objectives was to come up with measures of software quality that you could take from the source code itself. Uh, the ISO standards at the time did not get to the level of source code measurement. <clears throat> so we held executive forums in Washington, D.C., Frankfurt, Germany, and Bangalore, India. I uh, got a number of executives together who were interested in forming the consortium and asked them what standards you really want us to work on. <clears throat> and after voting through that, we determined that the, the top ones they wanted us to work on were reliability, security, performance efficiency, and maintainability. Uh, so we set, uh, set out to build those standards. We decided early on we wanted to be consistent with ISO 25010, which is ISO's product quality standard, and that defines the, uh, those me that defines the concepts behind the measures. Uh, and so we decided to be consistent with those definitions for each of the four measures. Uh, and then we spent two years defining them. They're built from measuring weaknesses in the software in the areas of reliability and security and what have you. Uh, so in 2013, we put those uh, standards before the OMG. Uh, they were voted through. Now, initially, those standards primarily covered IT business software. Uh, <clears throat> but they were accepted. They were uh, they were produced. There are now international standards available from OMG. Uh, but the members of and the sponsors of CIS ask us to extend that to embedded systems because of the growing importance of the Internet of Things, because of the critical nature of many embedded devices, uh, especially in healthcare and avionics and nuclear and a num number of other areas. So we've spent the last year working on extending those standards to the embedded world. Uh, and we actually found out from the embedded experts we had involved uh, that an awful lot of functionality that traditionally was in, uh, in IT systems is now actually being embedded in chips. So it was a fairly easy extension to the embedded definitions and the embedded uh, weaknesses. Now uh, we've completed that work. Those standards have now been approved by OMG. We're going to go through the finalization of that report now. Uh, but the fact is th those are now extended to the full range of software where the CISC measures now cover uh, both embedded as well as IT software in the areas of reliability, security, uh, maintainability, and performance efficiency. Uh, so these are effective standards. They're at the source code level so you can compute them from static analysis uh, and come up with measures that correlate very highly with the, these aspects of your software in operation. Uh, and with the cost of maintaining the software over time. Uh, so CISC is going to move on and look at future areas we can work on quality standards in. For instance, we're now considering uh, moving these standards into the area of model-based software engineering, which would take us more into the architectural domain. Uh, so as we continue this work, we're really trying to expand uh, the world's ability to measure quality against international standards, uh, and that's our, our primary objective.